hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening or depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again i thank you once again for all you do for this channel thank you for your continuous and massive support so do not take it for granted god bless you my people and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again yes guys as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country Turn by turn governance over. Money will fail in 2023. Ezekiel Sili tells Tinubu. It's not news that Tinubu um, um, is going to be running for the 2023 presidential election. He's made his intentions known. Before now, it used to be speculations and hearsay and insinuations and all of that, calculations and permutations that um, the way things are going, body language and everything that um, Tinubu wants to contest 2023 presidency. He has come out himself officially to inform the president of the country. He only said that he has not informed Nigerians, but um, Nigerians are aware. Everyone is aware that um, he wants to run for the seat of the number one person of the country and that has received massive reactions mixed reactions uh, with some saying it's not going to happen dead on arrival is a huge joke all sorts nigeria is in a bad shape right now and then uh, what we're looking for is uh, a leader that will be able to pull the country out i know there are other issues about um, rotational presidency the southeast demanding that this is their turn other regions has um, had um, a president south south southwest but um, no southeast um, person has emerged as president that they believe that um, for fairness equity and justice if there's anything to go by like that if we're really talking about fairness equity and justice then it has to be the turn of the south um, east however um the major thing um, nigerians are talking about is um um the scorecard of tinubu that is what um, is the major bone of contention Right now, the former Minister of Education, Obi Ezekwesili, we know her, she's well respected. Uh, she's um, speaking to, she's telling Tinubu right now that uh, <laughs> turn by turn governance is over. You know, a gentleman's agreement uh, has been talked about that there is a gentleman's agreement that Buhari promised to hand over power to Tinubu because of the support, because of all Tinubu did for him during the electionarium period, the campaign, 2015 campaign, and also all he has done for the party as though the vote of the people is not necessary again so um gentleman's agreement will swallow all of the votes but anyway uh Ezekiel Sili has got a strong message to give to um Tinubu we'll bring you all of those details in a moment but before we do guys please don't forget to give us a thumbs up click on the like button and if it's your first time you're very very welcome please hit on the subscribe button god bless you now to the news obi Ezekwesili, a former minister of education, has warned that money will fail Nigerian political leaders, declaring to run for presidency in 2023. This comes hours after the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Asewaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, informed the president of his ambition to contest in the 2023 presidential election. Ezekwesili, on her Twitter page, while kicking against Tinubu's bid for presidency, said, the era of turn-by-turn -turn election of incompetent leaders in Nigeria was over. According to her, Nigeria cannot keep failing as a nation because of poor leadership. Her tweet reads, I watched one of those so-called public analysts boast that Bola Tinubu has consulted the president. It is a given that Bola Tinubu will be the next president of Nigeria. In a democracy... It is not your fault. Money will fail in the 2023 elections. Mark my words. It is citizens that have the power to collectively tell the likes of Mr. Bola Tinubu that the season of lowest common denominator of political leaders doing turn by turn in competent governance of Nigeria is over. The question is, are citizens ready to collectively do so? A country like Nigeria cannot keep digging deeper into the brief of failure because of a low degree of public leadership. The 21st century is racing fast to an end. Just look at where our continent lies prostrate at the feet of bad governance. Record that Tinubu on Monday informed President Mohamed Buhari of his intention to compete for the presidency in 2023. His declaration was met with criticism from Nigerians. 
is it Kwesi Lee? She's just um, airing her view right now that um, it is uh, it is time that Nigerians rise up. And that is the truth. Because we cannot sit comp and complain that these politicians are bad, uh, they, they loot, they are corrupt, and all of that personal interest, and not really, really rise. We need to rise. And that time where um, they give money, you know, poverty, poverty causes um, a lot of all of these things we see. The thugs that politicians use is all as a result of money. By the time they are giving little thing to go and um, destroy, maybe pulling units or just um, cause confusion during election, or even the sharing of 5,000 naira loaf of bread during election period, all of those, they are not needed. Ezekwesi Lee is saying that this is the time Nigerians need to rise. They truly need to rise. And he, she was telling Tinubu directly that the turn by turn governance is over and money will fail many politicians. Many will fail many politicians because the eyes of uh, many, uh, the eyes of Nigerians are open. You know, a, uh, a while back, some uh, thugs, they started coming out online to say they've been used by these politicians and it's only election period that they remember them. They are beginning to get wise. They are beginning to get uh, more educated to know that um, this is not the best. After the election narrowing period, they forget about the masses. Their children, they send them overseas to school. Uh, when they want to access health care, they travel out. They go to different places. Tinubu that just declared his interest to run for presidency will record that he had his surgery in America and after then he went to the United Kingdom, stayed about three months to recuperate. All of those, he mean, he know, that means he's, he's well assured, he knows very well that um, our healthcare system is not functioning, is not in shape and he has not said anything about it, he's not been speaking about it. Anytime he wants to access it, is to travel out because he can afford it. What about those that cannot afford it? Ezekiel Sile has just sent a, another strong warning and I, I mean, this, this is a wake-up call to Nigerians. This is a wake-up call and she made mention of another thing again, incompetent politicians. This one was directed to Bola Tinubu, telling Bola Tinubu that turn by turn election of incompetent leaders in Nigeria was over. I believe she was speaking directly to him. You know, Bola Tinubu's um, coming out or his declaration to run for 2023 presidency uh, was greeted with a lot of criticism, a lot of criticism. Some persons um, um, stating that we don't want another medical tourist president. No, no way. See where the country is at the moment. Well, 2023 will be intense. It will be, uh, it will be intense indeed. And the uh, agitations are still at, uh, uh, still there. We've not dealt with the agitation, but we're hoping that um, we'll be able to pull through all of this. Anyway, guys, leave us your take. Let's um, hear what you think about what um, Ezekiel Silea just uh, told Tinubu. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So I come your way again with more updates. Bye.